a little high level overview of Discord. And, you know, just to kind of preface and give some context, the reason why Discord is important is because you want to be able to own your own distribution. So if you're building a brand on social media, TikTok, um, Instagram, whatever, you know, whatever you might have, you, you want to take those people, take the raving fans of your followers and drive them to somewhere else. Some people use YouTube for that. YouTube is great, you know, kind of landing zone to drive people to, but still at the end of the day, you're at the mercy of the algorithms, you're at the mercy of being censored, you're at the mercy of being deplatformed. Um, you know, all these different types of things happen because you're using someone else's platform, you're using an, an algorithm to kind of depend on your growth. Of course, there are algorithm strategies, the hack the algorithm, different kinds of stuff like that. That's all great. Um, but what you should have is a foundation of generating attention, whether it be TikTok, driving people to more of like in-depth landing page, whether it be YouTube or what have you, but then eventually having like a true, you know, landing spot where your raving fans of people who are most interested in who you are, what you're about, and maybe what you have to offer can come to and have much more closer intimacy and interaction with you um, or the community that you're building, right? So if you're more professional, like for myself, I'm a marketer, I do a lot of marketing with companies, I have a newsletter where people can sign up my newsletter via email, and I can send out these emails and they go out to all these different people. Um, and I can pretty much own that distribution. Discord was originally made for gamers. It's almost comparatively to Slack, if you've ever used Slack. So Slack, for example, um, just to kind of show high level. So here's a Slack that I have where I just have a bunch of marketers and creators We come in here and you know they can um, you know ask me anything about content. They can, you know, there's an engagement pod. They can, um, there's interesting info within content. Um, there's launch pad, must read, all these different things for marketers and creators to learn about branding for themselves and content creation for themselves. So Slack is much more of a professional setting. Um, it's purely text-based. Now there are audio features coming out in the future or that are available versus Discord. There's audio features, there's video sharing features, all these different types of things. So let me kind of go into a high level. So when you start out, you create a profile. Um, and again, this is generally made for gamers, um, or at least it was initially, but it's starting to expand out into other areas. So if you look at like a lot of the people who are on my friends list, you know, they aren't like Jeremy Miller, like that's what my name, they're ga like gamer tags usually. Um, so you create a profile, you have your friends, you have direct messages, all these different types of stuff. But then there are discords, like discord communities that you can tap into assuming, um, you know, like whatever you might be interested in, or you can create a community for yourself. So let me show some examples. This one right here, it's an esports channel um, or esports Discord. There's literally just a bunch of my good friends. We talk about esports, gaming, memes, whatever. Um, this is called Board Eight Yacht Club. So this is a Discord for um, NFTs and cryptocurrency and a lot of that type of stuff. So we got gaming and we got NFTs and um, virtual currency and virtual art and different things like that. This is DTC Wonderland. Um, so this is directed to, to consumers. So this is marketing and founders and startups different things like that. Um, but again, like there can really be a lot of different you know, directions where these, these can go, right? So this is John Belly and he's a musician. And so he's got a lot of his, you know, fans of his music in this discord. There might be five to 10,000 plus people in this discord. He might have hundreds and hundreds of thousands, maybe millions of fans all across the world, but his raving fans where they want to be the first people to watch the videos, the first people to buy his merch, the first people to find out updates or just want to have closer interaction with them. They're in here. So he's got this community. He's got all these different channels, social media log and you know, all these different text channels. He's got voice channels down here, you know, whether they're in call, you know, gaming, talking about music, general music. Um, you know, if, if you're a staff within, like if you're a moderator um, within, your dis within his Discord, they can be in there. And so that's the nice thing, right? So as you're building out this community, whether you're a musician or whether you know, you're a financial advisor like this person where you're sharing your, your stock market trades or you know, maybe your entrepreneurship magazine and you have an entrepreneurship discord with all these different you know type of text channels and then um with different you know topics and everything and then all these different voice channels general voice etc um, the nice thing is you can have different uh, roles for each people right so if you look at the entrepreneurship one for example there's admins there's moderators there's advanced you know and then there's just everyone who's online and so each different role gets access to different types of things in um, the discord so like of course if I'm a moderator, for example, or an admin in a Discord, I'm probably gonna have access to everything. I can remove people, I can add what's called a bot in Discord that has different features. Um, there's a lot of different features within Discord that you can add. And so the reality is high level, it's a virtual community where there's a lot of different opportunities um, to just interact and engage with 
um, your community, however you're building that community, whether it's around your brand or a product or um, you know, some type of industry or some type of social media campaign or whatever that might be. So Discord is really powerful. It's usually for younger people, I would say, since again, it's kind of, it was initially geared for gamers. So it's very kind of centric to younger based audiences. But like I mentioned, you know, there's Entrepreneurship Magazine and these different kind of like very, I guess, professional type of uh, niches that are also tapping the Discord. And there are many, many, many more examples. These are just a lot of the Discords that I'm in um, myself. This one right here, just an example. This is a Twitch streamer. So he's got a few text channels. He's got, you know, he mostly plays Apex Legends. Then he's got these channels where his people can be in a waiting room to wait to possibly watch his stream. Um, he's got a specific stream channel where if he's live on Twitch, um, if he needs to talk to his moderators and they need to fix something on the Twitch stream or they need to kick someone out of the group or they need to add something to the Discord or whatever that might be, he's got this locked mod channel where his moderators can join. Um, and so there really are a lot of different opportunities within how a creator um, or a brand can leverage Discord. Um, so yeah, just kind of high level, that's what uh, Discord is.